I've, I've designed a machine that can uh, recover any kind of plastic without burning it. Uh, for, to get, rule of thumb, four tonne of plastic, I'm going to recover a tonne of oil, but I can also uh, treat the chicken uh, excrement, and I've done tests. What's that, my friend? It's, you've heard of Christopher Pincher, the one who got Boris Johnson the sack? Yep. Uh, that's, that's about him there. And this is the crimes he was covering up. Boris Johnson said, if I'd have known about the documents and the documents in there, dated the 19th, what he was referring to, and he said he would have sacked him. So Pincher resigned, and then he come back to Tamworth and said he's an independent, and he's still the MP at Tamworth, claiming that he's an independent. And he got away with it. That's, it, he's the night watchman. He's stopping anybody becoming a new MP there, or the Labour Party having another, you know, a by-election for it. That's it, what he stopped. But Boris Johnson, he got Boris Johnson the sack. Yeah. What he did. He's a non, a thief, a liar, and a non case a perpetual non case He's done it before. It's not the first time, and he's used Scotland Yard to get away with it because I reported him to the uh, the Commissioner Catherine Hudson and. Uh, he turned round and reported himself, so he said to Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard didn't do anything about it. It was a, a stroke in a, an Olympic rower's in his in his flat. Right. And the, the Olympic rower, it's in the press. He called this the pound shop Harvey Weinstein. Right. That's what he called Pincher. And Pincher said that he was he, he was out of order. He reported himself to the Scotland Yard, so he said. And Catherine Nuts and the watch uh, dog. A parliamentary commissioner turned man and said he's out of my jurisdiction now. The police, it's a police matter, and he never even reported himself. Right. And the police couldn't do anything anyway. The guy never reported it as a crime, he reported it as doing a crime. Right. So, unless there's any evidence, unless somebody prosecutes, the police aren't going to take any action. Yeah, yeah, they won't I just could do go it. And to say to the police, I threw a brick through a window 20 years ago, but he, this happened two years before. He wasn't even an MP when it happened. Right. So you've managed to get this um, well, confidential you, document, have you? Or is that you, Alan Darby? Yeah. Right. But I'm, I'm, I've, I've designed a machine that can uh, recover any kind of plastic without burning it. Uh, for, to get rule of thumb, four tonne of plastic, I'm going to recover a tonne of oil, but I can also uh, treat the chicken uh, excrement, and I've done tests with wet chicken crap in water, in drinking water, and f four, two ounces of chicken crap in, in, in a five litres of water and four ounces of my dehydrated chicken crap and you could drink it, it, it hasn't gone, but it, the, the river wire is dead, it, the river wire is a sewer and there's bird flu all over the country. So, uh, so w how important is chicken poo in water then, is that a big thing? Well, it, uh, if, if it reaches, nitrate, if it reaches, goes over five percent, it will kill fish and birds and if two-year-olds wash your drink in the water, it'll kill them. Right. Okay. You'll so you're cancer. It's it's cancerous. Right. Okay. And it goes up to ten percent. So do, do you think that's an actual problem right now? The, the chicken poo is actually polluting the waterways and uh, killing well, off all. Uh, chicken is in the water. Yeah. Oh, that they're actually. And they're saying it's uh, leaching in from chicken is on the. So who who are the people that's putting chicken poo in water then? Uh, the chicken farmers. Not many people know that there are twenty million chickens raised on the the banks of the River Wye and the River Rusk. Right. 20 million. Okay, and the chicken farmers, they've got permission to put it in the water. No, they let it overflow, the same as all the, the, the water works. They let it run into the beaches. Into the so, do they have some sort of thing, as soon as we reach a tolerance, it has to overflow into the, the waterways? Is that what you're they, saying? They wash it, they've got to wash the sheds down every right. night. Because we, we do try and highlight wrongdoings, and are you saying that if I visit a chicken sort of factory operation, I will see de deposits going into the waterways? Well, You've got it, I've got a drone, you said. I've got the machine that's tested it. Yes, yeah, so you go up and go. The river boy has got banks, uh, rafts. Uh, it'll tell you what it's got in there. Yeah, I'll have a good and, read of that. And there's, there's a, you, you can access the, the report, the river reports from the, the Environmental Audit Commission. There's 16 members. This is the, the MP from Ludlow, and that's the report there. This. The ammonia, this is the, the report, so you have that there, the, the five uh, parts per million, that will kill birds and fish. Okay, okay. And if a two-year-old child got in the water, yep. so many, 
would that have been that it would give them cancer. And is the river Rye, did it R-Y-E, is that what you're saying? Uh, W-Y-E. Okay, and whereabouts in the UK is that? Um, Herefordshire. Herefordshire. It from is that where it's... Across the Welsh border and it runs into the, 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 the River Severn uh, and to give you some idea of the al algae, they've uh, uncovered an algae uh, in China which is 460 odd million years old. Algae was the first green um, object in the sea, green uh, matter in the sea. And it come on the land and everything you see is through an algae because it's a one cell and it, it broke and, and became grass and all that kind of stuff. But it will also go in, it, it lives in the sea. Now, um, Whitby, there was a film on the, the television last night, Whitby, um, all the crabs for 10 miles up the coast, it's been decimated because they had an algae bloom in the sea that killed all the crabs and lobsters and fish and the government turned around and said, or they paid, you know when you get, the, you, you, you can't afford a solicitor and you have a crowd funding. They did this, this is the, the council, they did a crowd funding, gave the money to a, a professor in a university who turned around and wrote the script for them yes. right. and said that the, the, it wasn't the algae, it was drilling, it was dredging in the sea that disturbed the sediments right. and Covered toxins in the sea killed all the crabs. Right. If, that, if that toxin was there in the first place, it would have, there would have been a hist historical event that would have killed the crabs before it settled in the yeah. mud. Yeah. So that's what they did. They, they paid for it with a crowdfund and it's disgraceful. It's so corrupt. But academics and other top scientists said it's the, it's the blue. There was a satellite photographed three blooms and one was on the day where the crabs died and the, the, the beach was covered in dead crabs and lobsters. Right, okay. It, it's estimated. There you, you go, you've check got, it out you've got proof, internet. haven't you? I will, I will look into it. The, the, the crab well, industry up the, in, in Give York, me a company yeah. name that's actually um, dis disposing this type of stuff in our waterways then. Because I uh, visit companies, you see. There are 20 million chickens being bred on the on the, the catchment area along yeah. the river. So, so if is there a want, main corporate there? Is there a the, main The main business? corporate, yeah. Is, is an, his name is, 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 is called something, uh, Vindaraj, he's an Indian. Is he a director he, of some companies, is he? Two sisters, two sisters. Two sisters, company. right, okay. No, Based that's the company, two sisters. Yeah, I know it, yeah. You do? I know it, and yeah. He owns that. And do you know the, the, the fish shop that we had in Smallleaf, uh, Ramsden's, he even owns that. Right, okay. okay. And he yeah. supplies all the, all the chickens to all the supermarkets, and he's, he's been caught, He's been caught, or his workers have, backdating the, the, the slaughter date. Right. So that it, 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 when they give it to the supermarket, the date is a month later. Yeah. I've got a hip in me that was given to me that was nine years out of the day they tried to kill me. And it's just killing me. My hands go, look at, look at me hand down there. All my veins are seizing up. And, and I'm, I'm being slowly dying. Wow. With this, I'll have my legs off. So. Well, you're still fighting the cause, my friend. And I'm glad I've met you because I will visit one of these businesses and I will take the drone over well, and I will focus on what the, you've told the, me. The chicken shit is, is in charge. What they've done from the, 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 the Yorkshire uh, slaughterhouse, there was uh, the, the belt broke down, the conveyor belt broke down, there was chicken uh, guts on the floor in the sills right. and it was over the sillage, it was overflowing. Birds dropping on the floor, those picking it up, and I was making packets, taking supermarkets packets from there to put into one of the high grade supermarkets called Golden Hill Farm or something. They're all the same chickens. Ah. And a judge turned around on, on the 24th of the, the of last month, August, and granted a farmer permission to double his, his, his flock from 90,000 to 180,000. And these people are supposed to be these sixteen on the committee. So how are they supposed to get rid of chicken excrement then? What's the normal procedure? Um, well, there's there's a, a process called AD um, uh, anabolic digestion. digestion. Right. You've okay. This, so basically, let it rot to let all the and bugs it does, eat it. It creates a toxin that they can't cure. But don't it also create some sort of gas which they can use as fuel for vehicles? Well, it does. They, 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 they use the, uh, the ammonia out of it, of course. They'll stop doing that. But 
the stink of it and, and it, it takes 20 days to ferment so right. they're, they're, but it, it, once they've done it all and they've taken the gases off it yeah which you, it's not viable it is not viable so is that when they've done it all like you've just just about to say yeah, do viable. they then dump it at the end of, as well the byproduct um, well when they finish with it they incinerate it right okay they incinerate it okay but so that's the normal process that's what's supposed to happen all, there's mounds of it all over uh, Edifice. Right. I've okay. over, we, 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 I took the water from the, the river. Right. On the, on the, on the You've got a pH tester, have you? The foot, yeah, when we've done the test, yeah, and I've done it. And I've, I've got the DVD, so if you want the DVDs, they're stopping me writing the DVDs, but when you read that, you'll see other stuff in there. I mean, uh, the, the International uh, Court of uh, uh, Criminal Court in, in, in uh, Hague, the Netherlands. The letter was stolen, the email was stolen, sent to Cardiff, uh, the information was officer, and they wrote back the office, his, his senior, a, a bloke called Bailey, I've got his letter, and wrote back and said, what would you like your answer in English or Welsh? And it was, and it was about the murders that I'm, the pincher was covering up. And I've sent another two, and they've, they've been stolen as well. But I've got the documentation there, he's wrote his name on it, and they've, they've sent the, the court, and, and it's all on. But what they did, what I did, when I sent that, that, that email to the courts, I checked, instead of pressing the button straight away, because I, my computer I've known for years is dual control, so I pressed the read button, right. and they thought I'd press the, the, and it's the time, you can't change the time. So the email was, was stolen a minute before it was sent. Right. <laughs> That's <laughs> something, but it's, it's in there. Then. Yeah, yeah. And have you, do you upload any um, any of the stuff that you've mentioned? Any of the um, the examples? Do you upload them at all, or you just got it on DVD? I'm, I've got the the tests. Yeah, when you're testing the water and yeah, stuff I, like I that. I didn't do it myself. Oh, I had right. it done by an, 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 an horticultural. Oh, so you've got a certificate, like a oh, test result. Yes, yeah, ah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. And I've, sure. got, I've got the. It's five liters, so it's five liters of. Um, Fresh water, which is toxic now, yeah. and it can kill. It would kill a two-year-old if you got it. And there. that was found one. very close to a two sisters factory, was it? Uh, and that's the two sisters that own all the chickens. Yeah, there. and that that was tested right near to the factory, was it? Um, no, in the River Wye, at um, miles away. Yeah, uh, uh, um, there's a woman called the uh, Wall Swimmer, um, Jean somebody. I've got all the details, and. Uh, she said fish, dead salmon and dead swans. Right. Nobody's ever mentioned it before, but right. she is a swimmer and they come from America to swim with her. And I went to the churches um, to, to Hay on Wye and um, the, the priest wanted to, he brought a model up the river and there was an Olympic, two Olympic rowers uh, joined the canoe together and put this the Hail Mary thing on it's going to the Black Mountains and it was uh, from a, 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 a something that went on years ago and these two children met this nun and the boy picked a stick up and said if you don't clear off I'll hit you because the girl started to cry yeah. and it's it's in Welsh history now it's all and he's, this this artist made the model and the wall swimmers were swimming behind the boat it's all photographed and the, the priest was on the boat rowing with the that to bring this model up the Y wow. to Hay on Y, and it's, I've seen it in the church, I've touched it, and wow. I was swimming in this water, but they didn't realise how contaminated it is. And the, the woman, she turned around and she said, I've just lost two, two of my family, and I'm, I, I'm really, you know, at loggerheads, I can't manage to, so if you can leave me alone for a bit. But she, she can't swim in the water no more now, because, yeah. but it goes, onion soup, the locals call it an onion soup and then a pea soup and when you see the photographs it is green, all the algae is down there but algae it lives in when it's going down the river and they opened up a reservoir to flush it so that the salmon could come up but the salmon would be killed anyway right. yeah, they wouldn't come up and okay, it goes down it? onto the, it poisons the river Severn as well and goes down the Severn estuary right. and I've got um, uh, people who have got um, surfing um, businesses all along the south coast who turn around and, and, and I said you know if I can get this up there I'll give you the machine yeah. but <laughs> the machine is on a trailer and if you want it to come along the, I've got the photographs of it you can't see it when it's working no smoke and it runs on wood 
no black smoke. I can't make black smoke. I can only white, make white smoke. And when I wash the scrub, the white smoke, it makes black oil. Four ton of plastic, I can recover one ton of oil from four ton of plastic. And in one ton of oil? One ton of oil from four ton of plastic. Any kind of plastic, this, your camera, your thing, you name it, all this. Right. I can, what, that you, you, any smoke without burning it. I don't burn it, I just dehydrate it. Well, it have works. you invented that technology? Yeah, and right. it works on, on, on less than 400 uh, degrees centigrade, which is about uh, mark six in the oven. And how is it powered by gas? Pardon? Is it powered by gas? The gas, I don't... I don't no, how is it powered? How, is, how are you burning? How are you getting up to the temperature? Um, I use wood. Oh, right, OK, it, it, wood. In a wood. It's in, a, it's in an environment, it's a lockdown environment in a... In a, a um, a reactor that is locked down because it's called a reactor and it is a reactor because it creates a reaction a chemical reaction i can't make black smoke i right. can only make white smoke now the white smoke would drive a turbine i've drive it and it, it, it makes a big explosion when it does now i could put a gallon of uh, diesel oil in there and dehydrate it in actual fact two days after grenfell towers fire and they still haven't found out what it is i offer to test the cladding and tell them what kind of oil was in there and I think it was called Nepta which is the second uh, course of uh, crude oil the first draw off is aviation fuel the next draw off is Nepta and the next draw off is petrol right. and I believe it was Nepta and so therefore Grenfell Tower was an aviation fire equal wow. that's why the firemen couldn't and I supported the firemen and they still have got and one firm of solicitors turned around and said because what they did the firms that made the cladding I went down there twice and I, I wrote a, an email to them challenged them and I said there was three um, claddings three aluminium uh, uh, insulation claddings tested one made the grade the other two was just cheap junk and what they did the same as the hip, they changed the numbers on the hip, uh, it's nine years out of date and called it the modern day one. And they, these people turned around and used the, the cheapest one and, and, and forged the documentation for, the, they, right. for the best one. Right. And that's why they wouldn't do it. And the solicitor turned around and said, uh, we're not interested, uh, the courts aren't interested, the inquiry isn't interested because he was, he was on the call, solicitor, he was in the, on, the, on, the, on the inquiry on the table on the, the bunch of uh, fools and he turned around and said that the, the court, the inquiry, doesn't deal with minor issues, eventualities or minimum equals mm. and he was saying that you know the difference between one and the other is not not, not, not tangible, right. but the difference being is a BTU, and you know how many differences yeah. he was talking about? Right. One million, and do you know what a BTU will do? No. Cook a pint, boil a pint of water. Right. And he said, there's no difference. To try and cover up the false yeah. documents on that, yeah. to blame the fireman. Yeah. I've got this, I've got the writing, I've worked it all out. Yeah. It took me three days. It, it's just impossible to actually get that def definitive proof, isn't it? That, that is, it's just impossible to get that documented proof from them that will just hold them accountable and put them in the spotlight. Yeah, it, 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 this is what he said, and yeah. it was on. He put it in the press. It was on the television. <laughs> he said right. it's on the television. Right. I've got the name of the solicitors. Wow! Um, so you are co you are covering quite a uh, important issue, aren't you? Yeah. Well, a lot. But the hip, Christopher Pincher, uh, Spider Healthcare, the private hospital, was given nearly 20 billion pounds by Jeremy Hunt and Jeremy Hunt paid a company 35 million pounds to burn 64 billion pounds of PPR equipment that was scrap. Joking. I've got it in writing, I've got the documentation. Really? Wow. Yeah. 35 million and uh, Hancock's half hour when he got caught with the, the lights over the thing when he was having extra matrimonial hugs off his uh, ex-girlfriend. Yeah. That was all put up even to get him out of here. And then Jeff what, Jeff the was the longest serving health minister in, in, in history. And then he got Hancock the job and then he went to the, the Home Affairs Select Committee, the Health right. and that's where he is. And I've got a letter from him saying I wrote to him and, and accused him and he said, Thank you very much. This is 
signed Jeffrey Hunt. Uh, I can't investigate it. You're not my client, and, and it's a it's a private thing. It's, it's, it's down to you. Right. Uh, so I've got him bang to rights. Why would he reply with that I nonsense? I've got him bang to rights. Crazy, isn't it? But yeah, I will definitely visit a two sisters site and take the drone up and try and <coughs> dig, dig deeper into that. It's what we do. We visit industrial estates. I'm on YouTube and Facebook as DJ Audits. So we go around and audit places and we try and find wrongdoings. Well, if you want to see it work, it's on, my, it's on a trailer on my garden. OK, well, I've got I've your got, email address. I've got the DVD, but you'll have to give me time. I'll have to send it through. And that's the, I can send this through the, on the DVD. Yes. I'm going to uh, Ludlow this week probably to because he's not answered. He hasn't answered. And there's a test there. And this one here, that, that should be PP. That should be parts per million. That is the nitrate on 160. There's the death one there. That reaches five. And this is my test. Well, my chicken poo, there's four, three ounces of chicken poo in uh, fresh water. And, uh, and it's, it's gone pea super. And, and four ounces of mine in this water. And that's the result there. Test results, chemical composition was. And this is, that's, 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 a, that's a standard rate. That is 7.6. Uh, 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 sulfur um, toxin uh, it, it's a heat it is uh, pH ammonia one this is this is my poo nitrate nil nitrate nil and this is the, this is the two go, dangerous yeah. ones this is yeah. the one is cancerous it kills the other one if you get it in your body and it, it kills the other one in water it de right. de deoxidizes and then that nitrate takes over that and it makes its own it, it develops itself then in your body cause you cancer pancreas cancer but two year olds will kill them straight away virtually they'll die of cancer no well, no thank two. you thank you so much for letting me know what well, you've been up to i'll certainly uh, look into it myself and yeah, try and give well, it some coverage and when i do yeah i'll email you the link of what i what i uh, the video i create all right then so, well if you want to see the video no smoke comes off it when you when you see it we go around it's on the trail i don't take it anywhere what is there a video on youtube or something with it in operation pardon is there a video on youtube of it that um, I can link. I have to send it. Right, okay. I have to send it, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'll email you and you can send me... Um, oh, you send it, yeah, 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 send it me. I'll include yeah. it because it does sound fast. So you're, you've invented a technology that can turn waste plastics into a usable fuel. Yeah. And nobody wants to know. Um, the oil, but nothing's wasted. The clean cut off it, that's the, the ash, is um, insulation. The cladding that, it, that was being... Uh, used on the, uh, there's no oil in this clay, and you could put uh, or something, it makes the bl blocks, uh, insulation blocks, right. the ash. And the chicken poo, when I've done the chicken bowl, put it into pellets, and you can throw it in the river if you want, and it won't. There's the, there's the test, yeah, yeah, these yeah. are from an old, this is from an old, uh, right. um, uh, 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 Aqua marine. So testing. The, the machine you're talking about, it does plastics and it does chicken excrement yeah. in one. You've not got two machines. You've got one machine one that machine. does everything. Okay, got yeah, you. Got it's you. the same operation. Yeah, yeah. And it works. And have you tried to, um, you know, give anybody the idea or sell the idea as, a, as an inventor, um, or, or has, has somebody else got a similar product out there? No, no, no. Uh, I've had it uh, twice tried to be stolen. Right. So yeah. you, you've got it patented, yeah. have you? No, there's right. no need to. There's no need to pay. They, they can't work no, it out because I'm giving this away free of charge. Right. Okay. So yeah. you would have give it away, would you? To help a good cause. Yeah. Um, I've got a PP. I've got you know Capital One. You've heard of Capital One. Yeah. In Birmingham County Court, they forge documents, and they charge me 42% standard rate, but the standard rate that they charge for PPI total is only 23%. Right. I'll give you this and you can see this yeah. if you want, you like the forged documents and this is where Pincher I could have gone and I went to, um, to, to the, the murder. The murder, in actual fact, you've heard of Fred West? Yeah, yeah. The Fred West and Rose West? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The prison officer, Fred West died in Winston Green Prison, he was, he was on the production to come here to give evidence in this court at uh, Birmingham. Right. On the 1st of November, on the, the dates. Um, 1st of January, I think it was, or whatever, and, and they found him dead in the cell. He was on watch, and the prison guard that did it was the one that murdered um, David King in Tamworth, and the solicitors paid him £500,000, brought him two farms, and after he was arrested, they sold the one farm and brought him the, uh, the house and brought him a farm, Swinehead Farming, Lincoln. 
I've got the documents if you want to see them. You can it see sounds it. dodgy, doesn't it? This is this was this went on in what it Crown Court, right. and it, it, it's all there. The Law Society. You've heard of Mike O'Brien? Yeah. He's number one in number four court. So he was the Solicitor General of England and Wales. Right. I've got a document saying from the, the prison officer's father. He received twenty-five thousand pounds from Warwick, paid by the solicitors. And O'Brien writes back and he said, "Well, we, we will try and have, find out what's going on." He never answered him. He never. He, he told him. And O'Brien said, "I've got all the lists." I told O'Brien. <laughs> O'Brien asked me for all the evidence. Yeah, but they would. They'd get away with murder if it wasn't for people like you on, on their toes. They'd get away with a lot more, wouldn't they, if it wasn't for people yeah, like you the on their toes say, what exposing got, them? I've got. I've had sort of since two thousand and two. I had, by the way, um, the the anchor that was I designed the, the the model anchor and that was stolen even. Then. But what I did, I, I paint, and I had a not the Turner Prize 2002. It was on the catalogue. The painting I did was exhibited in the Mal Gallery, Pall Mall, Buckingham Palace. You can see down the road. And it went on the catalogue. Uh, it wasn't for sale. And I've got it back and I've got it and it was went in Dudley, uh, Dudley Art Gallery for some time. Um, and Shed Media and uh, somebody else stole the idea and made the anchor at um, Sheffield Steel Masters. Sheffield Steel Masters tried to get £90 million pounds and Clegg, when he was in the, in the coalition with, with um, Cameron, said, no, you can't have it. And he's the MP for the Sheffield. Right. He said, no. And then when he left, Sheffield Steel Masters got £39 million. Pounds. Yeah. Clegg passed this. Yeah. Back to Audis. You know what Yeah. You can clearly uh, see, that, can't that's, you? This is how they steal. Yeah. But, yeah. but Jeremy Hunt. If you want to do the programme on Jeremy Hunt, I've got Jeremy on Bank to write. He will go Have to you? prison for a very long time and pincher. Right. When you read that with pincher, yes, he's a long time. Wow. Because so they hate a, you, then. a businessman witnessed what went on and I said, the two envelopes there, identical. Which one do you want me to seal? That one. Sealed it. I said, right, that's yours. That's identical to that one there. Give that to David Cameron. Right. And from 2010 to now, he has basically stuff me left right and center and i can't do anything because you know i'm i'm in, i'm under the control even the police this right. west I mean, the police you should have reported to them even the the crime commissioner two and delivered letters to the crime commissioner and he hasn't even answered them nine letters to the chief constable and the one was stated categorically crime against the state and they were crime against the state don't matter where it was committed who committed it, they don't have to know. There don't have to be no evidence, just the fact that I report a crime against the state. And they have to report it. If I said it was done in London, they don't have to have any witnesses. The chief constable has got to report that crime against the state. Right. But it's international with this hip. They forge the, the global, um, it's paid for by the, the food and drug industry, the, the food and drug industry manages, but it's paid for by the United States of America. It's called the Globe, the International Global uh, Database, and they forge the documentation, the numbers on the hip, and there's three hips, model hips with 11 um, models in each one. And they invented another one to call it by um, another name, and it's, it's on the documentation, it's on the, the hospital record notes, the operation notes. They forged the barcodes. It's I've got all the evidence. So, so with the IP being older than it actually is, that, that's the main cause of the problem. Is it? It's age. The 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 hip. Yeah. It was withdrew. It was withdrew worldwide. Oh right. So you've I've got, you, I've got the documentation, the withdrawal dates on it. Right. Why so they drew it? They put something inside you that should have been withdrawn. Yeah. Right. It, 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 it's killing me. Right. Is it? Is it uh, reacting? Is it? Yeah, it, it's painful. It's infecting, all the time. It? It's, it's rotting my flesh. You, right. you can see what it's doing. Are you on medication to counter it? They won't even give me an MRI scan. Right. But what, because of who you are? But nothing. They're giving me nothing. Right. I won't be dead. Right. It just sounds to me like um, awareness isn't spread enough for people to sh support you and yeah. make enough noise no, I don't know for them enough, to react. I don't know people, you see, this is this. Yeah. Is this. And the press Wait. won't touch it when I'm, I send an email to the... They're stealing everything. They know beforehand. Right, OK. I mean, the technology, I do know, I'm not stupid, that they could have a van parked by my house 
I can switch in on, on my, my fridge, turn the fridge on and off. Right. That's that's how clever it is. And uh, the fracking thing that they was doing, the, do you remember the the um, uh, the women that was at the airbase, um, Greenham Common? No. Greenham Common, the Americans was using this as an atomic airbase. Right. When, to, when the, the whole thing nearly blew up with Kennedy and, uh, you know... Right, it's before my time, that is. Yeah, OK. But on, um, on the fracking subject, yeah. the fracking, I, yeah. I do well, actually was, want there to... Was doing, there was doing the fracking, there was uh, aiming this uh, radioactive... It's like a microwave, and it, in actual fact, it's, uh, it's, it's a weapon on boats. that uh, all tankers, when, when they had a sort of capture the oil tankers, they get into a room and aim at a thing. And they, the police use it for fracking, um, for kettling, because if you're in a building, it, was, it would be the same as me talking to you. It wouldn't make no difference because it's like a microwave. It's radioactive sound. And right. It just goes straight through the brickwork. And you think they don't have to share it. They talk to you normal, and you can't you can't get away from it. Right. And, th and they use it for frack, for kettling. Right. The police. Okay. So they, they've, uh, each police force has got one of the machines. Right. Uh, it's, it's, quite, wow. it's quite frightening. You've got so much uh, to tell, haven't you? Where do we start? I think I will visit some of those um, Two Sisters sites yeah. to try and expose that a bit more. The, the, the works are at um, Hay on Y. Yeah. And um, I'm a, it's certainly my area, that I is. am a member of uh, Extension Rebellion, but I do it on my own. I don't oh, do okay. that sticking stuff on the walls, and then I've right. done it here. And they wanted to put us in. Not with me, not under my name. I'm going. Do they know you, you're, you're put, affiliated you with that? You put names on here. I, I, I was. A, I had a big argument with a guy who, who Roger, uh, help Wallen, whatever his name is, who started it off. Right. You know, I called him uh, Scheister. Uh, is he still he, involved? Is he? Pardon? Is he still involved? He he, 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 he wouldn't have anything to do with me. You know what I mean? But he was trying to get people to basically break the law, right. and he was also suggesting that pylons. And he said this on a on a uh, when, you know, when you're on the internet and you get a zoom. Yeah. yeah, and he said uh, you could bring a pole in down with an electric cutter, and I thought, you know, when is the police uh, that they put you in prison? Yeah, but you've he, got to be mindful. Put him in prison. He was in Pentonville anyway. All right. Okay. For some time. Have he you spent any time inside? Pardon? Have you spent any time inside? Uh, have I spent in any time inside prison? Um, when I was growing up, yeah, I'm seventy. I'm seventy-eight. Um, when I was 21, I got seven years for dressing up as a, a copper on a black. Nobody was hurt. Impersonating a police officer, seven years? Yeah. Wow. That's but it was, um, it was a, a robbery. It oh, was right. Okay. A so wages, you were... a snatch. Right. Yeah, I asked them just down the road. Uh, it never went off. <laughs> put a smile waiting. on your face right now. They was waiting for us. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, was, was the one. My friend, who was a Marine, he was in the Royal Marines, and he was on HMS Tiger when Ian Smith capitulated from America, remember it? Yeah, yeah. And give it to the, the Africans. Back what was again. the value of the robber? Never went, you never went off, there was writing for us. Oh God, <laughs> so you got caught. Guns. <laughs> 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 it's been a pleasure to, to meet you, my friend. I will, um, I'll be in touch, I'll send you the link to my video yeah, and we'll but, try and but race. from then, I've got two two boys, what my oldest lad, he's got a, a curricular voice and he's worked in the, the last atomic power station at Great Yarmouth. He really is a bit of a clever lad, the oldest one. And, um, the other one's an electrician, they've never been in trouble. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. I got married, it was all finished, you know, when I came out. I've done all my time, yeah. I've done a year's remission as well. Right, okay. When I was in there, because my dad died when I was in there, and it was, I caught two screws nicking food in the kitchen. I was number yeah. one in the yeah. kitchen. And I asked for sort a of visiting magistrate to come in to report him for right, it. Okay. We do share a passion of them um, wanting to highlight wrongdoings, that's for sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so a pleasure to talk so to learned, you, my friend. I learned my lesson, and when I when I done what I was supposed to do, it cost me another year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in was good. I don't want me to, but the AG turned man. I learned to paint in there as well. Right. I'm self-taught. Um, the AG called Ram turned around and said to me when I first went in, he said you. You, you, you never, you never moved from here in D Wing. That was a long time. I was in there when George Blake, the Russian uh, guy who helped the the, the the Russians, you know, he was a submarine captain. Right. Which, Which prison was that? Huh? Which prison was it? When the scrubs D Wing. Right. I was in there, and um, he, he gave the secrets to the, the Russians. And there was a guy called Phil. Can't think of his second name. 
um, he, he got him out. So, but I was a, a carpenter with a deaf guy, deaf and dumb guy there in there. And it was he come very close. But I, I had nothing to do with it, you know what I mean? I, yeah. just gave it, but I, I wouldn't have been interested because I didn't like George Blake anyway. He was served in the canteen. Mm -hmm. And I had words with him one day. He said something to me and I said, You're not a fucking screw, you cheeky bastard. You know, because that's what they call screws, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's what it was. That's every, and I, so I wasn't very pally with George Blake at all. I told him to mind his fucking own business. Yeah. Well, thank you once again. I know they can't tell him what to do, you know. Yeah, right? oh, we don't like that, do we? He's, People he's telling a, you what to do. Fucking spy. Right, yeah. But, you know what I mean? I, I didn't like him for being that. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. I was a thief, not a spy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't endanger the company what I stole. You was us in fancy back. dress, weren't you? Pardon? You was us having a, a go of fancy dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it look realistic? Yeah, it was a proper one. Oh, was it? It was, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, it was in his car when his car was stolen. Oh, you robbed him with the uniform from the vehicle. So right, was, I'll be in touch, my friend. I've got your email. Yeah, all right then, yeah. Um, 20 million chickens along there and it really is bad the people along there the, the supermarkets the uh, extension rebellion are doing uh, the demonstrations outside but everybody's in actual fact I'll, I'll probably be up there i've been invited to go to um just out of uh, out of Eddyford. i wrote to a guy called column um for the for the 8th, I think it could be, that I might be going up there on the 8th. You know, on right? the 8th of November? Yeah, no, it's, no it's, it's month. Oh, in three days' time? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. But I've got to, I want to go to um, Ludlow, to because this guy is the MP of Ludlow. Right, and okay. And give the leaflets, I've got a thousand leaflets there that I want yeah. to put out to him. Well, I mean, so. if you say exactly what you've said to me, then I've, I'm sure you'll get a lot of support, because it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. We, but, will save, we will save the river. I've got the photograph, showed all the algae along the side of the river. Yeah. It's dead. I'll definitely cover it, my friend, so I'll be in touch. Thank right. you so much. Okay. All right, thank you. Have a nice day anyway. Yeah, and you, my friend. So, wow, that was amazing. Just come across the guy there who's so passionate about the cause that he's been fighting for for so long, and uh, he wants us to visit a business along the River Y with the drone. So, we will certainly be doing that. So, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So coming soon, we go and visit this machine that can turn chicken excrement into a usable fuel. We'll go and actually see it in action. And we also go to a Two Sisters factory and try and highlight this issue a little bit better and try and find the, uh, the source of entry into the River Y. So you will be seeing more of this gentleman. So until then, thank you so much for watching. Please press that like button if you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.